In this lesson, we are going to go over the addition, subtraction, as well as scalar multiplication in matrices. So in the previous lesson, I introduced you to the idea of a matrix. Now a matrix is typically something that's drawn in these weird little brackets. And there are numbers like that, for example. And so in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use addition, um, subtraction, and then also scalar. Now a scalar is like a number that you put in the front of the matrix. And what that does is it multiplies in. And I'm going to show you how to handle all of that in this lesson. It's pretty straightforward. So what you do is we know what we'll do is we'll take this number and you'll just add it to this number. So, and then your answer will go in a matrix. So three plus negative two is one. And then you do the next part. Six plus zero is six. Kevin, is it that easy? Yep, that's how you add matrices. Let's do subtraction. Subtraction is exactly the same. Um, so all that happens is you say like five, take away negative four. So that actually becomes five plus four, which is nine. Okay, and then you're going to say three take away negative four. So it's going to become three plus four, which is seven. And then the last one, two take away negative five, that the two negatives make a positive. So it ends up becoming two plus five. And so that's going to be seven. Here's another one. So here we're using letters instead. So the answer, let's just go make a big matrix. So all you're going to do is you're just going to take this one take away this one. So it's going to be um, negative 6y take away 3y. Now what does that give you? That gives you negative 9y. So that's our first one. So we've done that and we've done that. Now we're going to do this one take away that one. So that's just going to stay 5x take away yx. You can't do anything further than that. Then the next one is going to be this and then you're going to say take away this. Now you've got to be careful. Now you've got to be very careful because it's 4x take away. And now the y plus 3, you would put that in a bracket because it's y and 3. So that's going to end up becoming 4x take away y and then take away 3. Okay, so it's 4x take away y take away 3 like that. And then, okay, so where we're at. Okay, so we've done that, we've done that, we've done that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Then the next, okay, now this part's actually together. You might think that it's a y and a minus 6 as two different parts, but this is one term. Then we're going to say that minus, and then this is one term as well. So it's going to be y take away 6 minus, now put this next part in a bracket. That's very important, like that. And so that's going to end up becoming y take away 6 take away 4 plus 3xy so and then you can simplify that to y take away 10 plus 3xy so y take away 10 plus 3xy all right so uh, let's just make sure we've done everything so we started off with 1 2 3 4 um, and 1 2 3 4 so our answer should also have 4 in it 1 two, three, four. There we have it. All right. So the way it works here is now we're just going to add these matrices together. So the answer um, is going to have the same size. So if you look at this one, it's got two rows. So our final answer would also have two rows. And then it's got three columns. So our final answer would also have three columns. So for the first one, you're going to plus these two together. That's going to be negative six Z plus five. So that's our first part done. So let's scratch that out. Then for the next part, you're going to add these two together, or you could, it doesn't really matter. You could also go and add these two together, and then you would just put the answer over here. But if you rather want to plus these two together, then you'll just put the answer over there. So it doesn't really, um, it doesn't really matter. So that's going to give us six Y Z plus Y plus one. So we've done that part now. Now we do the next part. Now this one is minus 2y plus minus 4y. So that actually ends up becoming minus 2y, and then a positive and a negative makes a negative. So it's going to be minus 4y. And so together, that would be uh, negative 6y. Okay, so that one's now done.
Now we're moving into the second row. So we do the same over here. We move into the second row, okay? And so we're gonna say 6x plus three. So that just stays 6x plus three, because you can't add them. And then it's gonna be four plus negative 6z. So that's gonna become four take away 6z. So let's scratch those out, scratch that out, scratch that out. And then it's gonna be 5xz, 5xz, and then plus one, plus one. And there we have it. Now I'm gonna show you how to do scalar multiplication. So scalar multiplication is when you have a little number on the outside here. Um, so it's pretty easy. All that you do is you multiply it to all three parts. So for the first part, it's negative four multiplied by five, which is negative 20. Then it's negative four multiplied by negative one, which is four. And then it's negative four multiplied by negative four, which is 16. So that's as easy as that. Now, uh, same thing here. You're gonna multiply this 3a to every single element that you can see in this matrix. Okay, and so if we write out what the answer would be, so here we're gonna multiply these two, so that would be negative 9ab, negative 9ab. Then we're gonna multiply this 3a with this whole part. So remember that it's gonna go into the ab, but it's also gonna go to the a. So that's gonna end up becoming 3a squared b, and then that's gonna become plus 3a squared. So it's gonna become 3a squared b, 3a squared b plus 3a squared, okay? And then we're gonna multiply it into the next part, which is this part over here, so that's gonna become 3ab. Right, so now we're gonna go into the second row, so we're gonna multiply it over here, so that's gonna become 6a squared, and then we're gonna multiply it over here, and that's gonna become 18ab, and then we are gonna multiply it over here, and that's gonna become negative, whoops, negative three AB. Negative three AB. Okay, so here's our next example. So this one looks very interesting, but all that you're gonna do is, okay, so we're just gonna add all three of these together at the same time. So for the first part, it's gonna be this plus six minus PQ. So it's going to be R minus 5Q plus 6 minus PQ. Okay? And so none of those can simplify, so that's literally the answer. So R take away 5Q plus 6 take away PQ. And then the next part is going to be this plus this take away this. So it's going to be 2 um, plus zero, take away negative two r, and so that's gonna become two plus zero plus two r, and so that's just gonna be uh, two plus two r. And then, okay, now we're going into the bottom row, so it's gonna be negative three plus r plus uh, minus five p, so it's negative three plus r minus five p, so let's go fill that in, negative three plus r minus five p, I know it's a lot, eh? And then the last part is this plus this minus that. So it's gonna be three plus p squared take away two r. Okay, and so I think we have one more example. Ah, so this one's nice because it has a little scalar at the end. So um, you can put the scalar in first, or you can just do everything in one step. Um, it's completely up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. So I think I'm actually gonna put the scalar in first. Okay, so if we put the scalar in first, let's just write this out, then, then what happens is the following. Um, so you just multiply this with every single element. So the first one is gonna be uh, 25x squared. Then it's gonna be, then I'm doing this one. So that's five times negative three, which is negative 15, and then it's x and y. And then it's gonna be multiplying all of that. So that's gonna be negative 30x, uh, take away 30x squared y. I'm just running out of space here. Okay, and now we are going to multiply this and this, so that's negative 10x. 
and then that's going to be this and this that's going to be negative 20 x y and then that's going to be this and this so that's going to give us 5x squared uh, take away 30x okay so that's only that part so I'm going to go replace all of this with that now so we're going to end up with um, 1 negative 3 7x 6x squared negative y and negative 6 plus now I need to go fill in all of this so it's going to be 25x squared, negative 15xy, um, negative 30x, take away 30x squared y, negative 10x, negative 20xy, and then 5x squared, take away 30x. Okay, and so now we need to go and um, add all of them together. So that's going to give us uh, 1 plus, so, so now I'm just adding this together. So that doesn't become 26. Um, those two things can't be added together. So um, it's going to be 1 plus 25x squared. Then you can do this in any order you like, but I'm going to add these two now. So that's going to be um, 6x squared take away 15xy. And then it's going to be this and that over there. So that's going to be negative 3 um, minus 30x minus 30x squared y. Jeez, I'm running out of space. So that's that one. That's that one. That's that one. Okay, so now I'm busy doing this one over here. So it's minus y minus 10x. Like that. And then it's going to be um, 7x take away 20xy. So 7x take away 20xy. And then lastly, minus 6 take um, plus 5x squared. Um, so minus 6 plus 5x. Whoops. So that's that one over there. So minus 6 um, plus 5x squared. Uh, take away 30x. Minus 6 plus 5x squared take away 30x.